What's up YouTube, Anton Log here, and today I have a review for you guys of the Kingston 5-in-1 Mobile Companion. This is an all-in-one device that does five things. It's an SD card Wi-Fi reader, a USB Wi-Fi reader, a Wi-Fi router, a backup battery device, and finally, it can stream videos and movies over an SD card or USB. So starting off with the build quality, the mobile companion is made of some black and white soft touch plastic, which doesn't attract fingerprints and feels really premium. Taking a look around the device, we'll see an ethernet port on the back, an SD card slot and USB charging port on the side, and in the front you'll find three LEDs to indicate battery life, Wi-Fi, and network bridging, and also on the front you'll find the USB port for charging purposes, and at the bottom are some labeled and four tiny plastic feet to raise the entire device. Finally on the top is a big Kingston logo that when you press, makes you feel dumb because it's not actually a button. The mobile companion is about the size of a 4.7 inch phone, but it's a little wider. And here it is next to my Moto X, which has a 4.7 inch screen. Since it's meant for travel uses, it's fairly light at 171 grams. The main feature of the mobile companion is the streaming capability. You can start by loading movies, pictures, music, or any type of file onto the SD card or USB drive. Then proceed to plug in the storage drive, and when the mobile companion is powered into the right mode, it'll show up as a Wi-Fi network then connect to the network, and then open the Kingston app. Using the well laid out app, there you'll find all the files on the SD card or USB drive, whether they're music files, video files, or even Lumetri files, it's all there. You can also just see the photo, video, or music files via the menu on the right side of the app, and the apps look great both on Android and iOS, following material design. I'm happy to report that you can stream from both the USB drive and the SD card at the same time and also to two different devices simultaneously. The app includes a bridge to connect to an existing Wi-Fi network so that you can access the internet while still being connected to the mobile companion. You can also copy files from your device to the SD card or USB or vice versa. In case you don't want people to see the data on the storage device, you can set up a password for the Wi-Fi network via WPA2 security. You can also monitor battery life, change the name, and make an auto shutdown in case you'd forget to turn the mobile companion off. Moving on to the second feature, you can use the mobile companion as a Wi-Fi router. This feature is pretty self-explanatory, and it might be useful if you use this for hotels when the Wi-Fi may be slow but the ethernet is at a reasonable speed, then you just plug the mobile companion into the ethernet and you immediately have a Wi-Fi router for all of your devices. Now the last and final feature of the mobile companion is that it acts as a portable battery pack. With its 4640 mAh battery, that's also used to power the mobile companion. It's pretty simple to charge and it works well. So in conclusion, the mobile companion has great and versatile features that work well, all packed inside a small form factor. It seems like Kingston really polished the user experience, and throughout my experience with the mobile companion, I can say that the only con is that the USB and card reader get a little warm when they start reading stuff. Other than that, everything went smoothly, and I can safely say that due to the versatility, this deserves a spot in mine as well as any traveler's bag. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment on what you guys think about this product. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.